something messed up with my stream deck and I ended up muting my mic. Welcome in, folks. Happy Friday. Hope you're having a good one. My name is Joel Duggan and this is The Citadel. And we are in the medieval town of West Hill. Uh, and we are looking straight at a building that I'm hoping we're going to be able to fix today. Uh, if you were here on Wednesday, which is not normally a day that I stream, but I was here, uh, we worked on this building. And it looks a little bit different than the end of that stream because I got really frustrated with it. Uh, and I went in uh, later that night and spent like an hour trying to figure out if we could fix it. And I think we can. I think I got most of the way there. But I think what needs to happen is it needs to be more asymmetrical. And we may have to remove this this roof entirely. I'm not really sure what's going to going to happen. But if we take a look around, uh, then you will see the problem is that it's it's very, very tight in here. And that's not at all what I wanted. Uh, and if we go outside on the roof, if I have a play up to the roof, did I take down the scaffolding? I took down the scaffolding. So if we go up here, even though it doesn't matter because you can't really see it, it does strike me as strange that it has like this flat section. It doesn't really make much sense. Uh, I like this i like the little spruce cap on the bone block that will eventually turn into mushroom stem but it's it's not great like it's not the best not the best solution i knew that they were going to stay up there we need a scaffolding magnet in this game anywho uh big thanks to cj williams thanks very much i really appreciate the tier one sub 10 months in a row gonna be an entire year very soon cj that's amazing thanks ever so much hey sweet sandy how's it going i have a button for sandy Boop. folks should check out sandy uh fazu battlecaster Cybe, all hanging out in chat dan grice is here too how's it going so my thought for this uh if we can find it let's just see if i can see if OBS is going to remember my my Pinterest page. I, I imagine it probably has not, so just bear with me a second here while we figure this out. Uh, survey says... Oh, you have! Wow, that's impressive. I was not expecting it to remember. Uh, if we go down my Pinterest reference page to Medieval Fantasy, and then we go to Buildings, I think it's Buildings. I might check out Houses as well. I feel like I've been through buildings recently. Let's look at the houses because there's something very specific that I'm looking for, which is a very tall, very skinny, a like a gable, kind of like this one here uh, on, on the right hand side, but more like this, like more like that kind of height on it. So starting at the first floor and going all the way to the second floor. Don't see as many examples here. We might be better off looking in the building section. OBS has a worse memory than me, Liquid Rabbits. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's frustrating how often I have to tell it to, yes, remember to do the thing that I've not changed for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, that's not bad. I thought I saw something in here a while ago. I might not have bookmarked it. It could have been somewhere else. But essentially, uh, and I can probably start to build this in game faster than we could look it up here on Pinterest. But I just wanted to try and give a visual quickly. Well, here's a decent, this one here. If we took this top idea and brought it all the way down to a lower starting point, that might work. Anyway, we don't have to dwell on this right now. Um, so... What I'm thinking is, because I like that spruce, what I think we'll do is we'll grab some spruce. I need those, those. Really, that's all I have for slabs? Okay, we need to make some more things. Slabs. And stairs. Probably more, more stairs than that. Sure. Uh, oh, I guess I could have kept those. More trapdoors. I mean, I guess we're going to rip down some of the stuff that's already there, but... Uh, 
can put those back. Don't think we're gonna need any deep slate. I'm gonna bring bone block just because we have a lot of it. Eventually, I do think that that mushroom block is the right choice for this. The black sheep, hello, how's it going? And foil again, subscribed with Prime for six months. Very, very cool. Is that six months just now? Or six months like this is your sixth month? Because foil again, I I don't recognize your name. I apologize. Was it six months in advance or just six months? Maybe it's just because you've renewed and I've just not been live when you've renewed. But thank you ever so much. That is the air keystone badge for you. Should you decide to display it? Six months total. Very cool foil, foil design. I really appreciate it. Okay, so we've got we've got this section here. So what I'm thinking is that we we choose one of these sides and make it tall and pointy, like a big triangle. And I'm thinking I'm kind of wondering whether the left side would be better because then we could keep this cool balcony thing, which I don't mind. And then we could do something much different with this side of the building. And I think it would lend some interest to this. So if we keep that, and there's like three blocks in here, or two blocks in here, where do we want to start this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess it doesn't really matter. We could have this be forward of the other side. Because chances are I'm going to line it up with this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. So let's call this the middle. And how tall do we want to go? Cormac, good to see you. I'd say that's maybe too tall. Maybe we maybe want to go one one below that. Out of curiosity, if we put this up here, and then underneath this, we had something like this, but this would be very steep. So we've got two there, and then one there. Nope, that's wrong. Halo guitarist slamming in with 1100 bits. Thank you so much, Halo. How's your day going? Always great to see you. Incredible support from Halo. Thank you so much. And I guess here. Yeah, I'm liking this better already. I guess we could just come down straight. So this would get eliminated. I think. Saib918 with 100 bits. Forgot the bits. Thanks so much. And that kicks off a hype train. Or was it Halo Guitarist that kicked off the hype train? 
Uh, if you wanted the build to have a black roof before Deep Slate was added, what would you have used? Would you have used Blackstone or something else? Uh, I have a black texture pack on my nether brick. I'm not sure if you've been around when we've gone to the nether, but all of my nether... Actually, you know what? I have it here, I think. Uh, no. Yeah, there it is there. So... <clears throat> This is uh, my nether brick texture. It's an idea I got from, um, <laughs> excuse me, I got it from Vanilla Tweaks. I tweaked it myself a little bit more, but normally this is like a wine color. And I've, it's been black for so long that I forget that it's, it's wine, like burgundy colored in vanilla Minecraft. But that's what I would have used. Uh, Halo Guitarist gifting a tier one sub to the community that went to Stardust, Stardust567. Enjoy your sub and make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch so that you can hang out on the Discord. So I don't know if this is going to stay exactly like that, but can you kind of see, I guess I should probably put the other half in before I ask people to visualize what I'm laying down. I can see it in my head, but I've recently learned that not everybody can do that, <laughs> so to be a little bit more descriptive. And why I'm not so worried about removing this is because we have a copy of this over here. So if I have to rebuild it, I have reference. I'm not really too worried about it. Guess we can just leave that there for now. Just in case. Now hopefully this doesn't get too low. And then this will just go off in this direction. Like this. So instead of a tower on the left, we would have that kind of structure, which I think does what I wanted it to do in the first place. It breaks the wall here, like it breaks your line of sight. It pushes above the wall, but it doesn't compete with the keep behind it. It's a different color. We'll still make the roof um, deep slate, but the the fringe is going to be is going to be um, is is going to be. Spruce. Spruce is the word I'm looking for. I don't know. We might want to raise this up by a little bit. Like we might want to go to there. We'll have to see. No, I think it was probably better the way before. It just seems like a long way to go. Need stairs. Elkhorn, the mighty Elkhorn is here. How's it going, Elkhorn? We got uh, just under a minute left in the level two hype train. If anybody wants to jump in, it's a prime sub, tier one sub, or a hundred bits. Yeah, so if we do that, and then I'll need some deep slate. Let's grab uh, that. And we're gonna need more. More stairs. Let's put up a permanent hop over here. Broweki, hello. I think I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, that was a level one hype train for folks that were participating. Enjoy the emotes. Thanks so much for the support. Appreciate y'all kicking that off. 
So I apologize if you can hear my phone in the background. Uh, I need to leave it on because I'm expecting a delivery from Amazon. And I will let you know once it's all here, or I guess I'll just, I'll throw pictures in the Discord, but I can let you know that uh, what I'm hoping, oh, hold on, sorry. Sorry, just the emergency alert system apparently is working. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, uh, I need to answer my door. My door comes in through my cell phone. So I apologize for any background noise. Uh, yeah, it's meant to kind of pierce all things, I think, Elkhorn. That's like the emergency local, you know, authorities would like you to do something. It's it's fine. It's, it's there's, a, there's a fire in the city, but it's nowhere near me. So I should be okay. Um, long story short, Amazon. They never show up when you want them to. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to run downstairs and get it when it gets here. But uh, all that said, it should be cool because it is something that I have purchased to improve the stream quality of my Lego streams. So I think that'll go to there. And then this will go to here. And we might do more to this. But essentially, that would be the new roof line, which would, again, give us way more height on that second floor. No, that's not my door. <laughs> no, my, my door is just my phone. It just it, the phone rings, um, at which point I'll probably just mute my mic quickly and then run, run downstairs with a be right back screen. Uh, I've lucked out in the past. Uh, the last time it happened during a stream, it happened during one of my breaks. I just had to extend the break by a little bit. So yeah, I think seeing the roof there would be good. We're going to have some separation um, situations there that we might have to attend to. But if we go around the corner and see what this looks like, if we can even see it. I don't know if we can see it from up here. But these are the kind of things I like to check before I get too involved in a building. Oh yeah, you can totally see it. So it will kind of compete with the height of the of the dock entrance. I may I may push that a block higher or a block lower. Hold on. Block lower would be there. Uh I'd be inclined more to do a block higher. Well, that was a tease. Yeah. I Essentially, um, I I bought a new. When, what's I'm not sure what to call. Well, I can say what it is. It's it's the Elgato multi arm system. It's not just one thing. I had to buy like three different pieces, and it's been arriving in three different on three different days. I got the multi joint arm yesterday. I think the cell phone holder is happening today, and then I've got the. Um, the ba the base part of it, the part that attaches to the table, that's coming tomorrow. I was gonna try to get them all in one in one box, but they're too big and too heavy. And then also, the ETA was like next week, and I wanted to try to get them in time for this weekend. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a Lego stream. But essentially, uh, because I have a new phone, I could use my phone as a much better webcam than I could uh, the old C920 that I have. And so I think everyone will get a much better viewing experience uh, and I'll have a better building experience with this arm uh, getting the camera well out of the way uh, and hopefully attached to something where it won't shake with the table. So we'll get a, a really good Lego stream the next time. Uh, th I, yeah, that could be that could be one block higher, I guess. That could be, we could start at a block higher. I don't know if we necessarily have to change the shape of it, but we could start at a block higher because this is only two and a half. And I feel like most of these, oh no, most of these are two and a half, I guess. Yeah. I do kind of like this attaching down low like that. If that went up higher, that would attach there. That's not the best. And I've been keep on saying that I have to try and increase the scale 
of these buildings on this side. Which building is this? Uh, technically, it is the br 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 the ledger record keeper slash local magistrate, that kind of thing. So I'm thinking that on the ground floor, which would be bigger with this building change, would be like bookshelves and, and a desk, you know. And then upstairs could be like more records and stuff. Plus somewhere there'd be a place for the person to sleep. So it'd be kind of like a business office on the bottom. I mean, business office is a weird thing to say about a medieval building but you know what i mean like somebody that would have all the records of stuff coming in and going out of the port on the wharf and yes and i can i can say that the next lego set that i'm going to be building is is the um luke skywalker red five helmet that i bought myself for my birthday again with wonderful support from people here i got myself something nice for my birthday and then I get to share the bill with you. So it's like a win, 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 really. Um, map of Westville on the wall. So which building is this? Uh, this is this building. We haven't updated the maps at all. Actually, I haven't, I was thinking about that the other day. We haven't actually looked at the maps in a very long time, mostly because the map app is so so much nicer. Oh wow, look, Lowtown isn't even there. Like, look, look how gross the colors are on this compared to this map. <laughs> I much prefer this. I wish we could get this in game. I should look for a mod that changes the map colors in Minecraft to just be like true true to in game colors rather. Evil Shadow, hello. I'm doing well, thank you. I had my lunch outside. One cannot complain when you get to eat your lunch at home outside on your balcony. It's a really nice day here today. Yes, I think I want to try this one block higher, at which point maybe we change this part. Janie Laney subscribing at tier one. Thanks so much, Janie. Really appreciate that. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. Join us in the Discord in between streams and for all the regular nerdery. Nerdery? Nerd dumb? Nerd stuff? Nerd things? You're in good company, is what I'm saying. I like the other way better. There's something about this little flip at the bottom that I want to like and keep. So let's try a block higher in the rain as one does. And that will mean raising this by a block. Nope. Unless there's a way to get this taller. Is there a way with trapdoors to get this taller? Like if I was to go with this and then do trapdoors there. Can I get this taller with just trapdoors? I think I could. That's one, two, and that's one, two, three. Yeah, okay. I've never tried that before. Can't claim to have invented it. I'm sure I've probably seen it somewhere. One of the things I'm trying to do in this side of town is just try different different setups. Uh, so then we should be able to... Get 
this across like this. Now this might change to be spruce. Don't know. Whoops. Put the fast way down. Do you like symmetry in builds? I like both symmetry and asymmetry. It all depends on, on what you want. Uh, yes, I think that'll work. We're going to have a little bit of a weird confusion there, but I'd much prefer this height here rather than being too close to that from this angle. I like it. Uh, it would be cool if there was a mod to time-lapse your map without exporting screenshots after every build. Yeah, I mean, that's a lot of footage, though. I mean, that would be... Isn't there a way to do that? Like, isn't there... Isn't that how the um, Elysium Fire people do it? Like, don't they, like, just finish the build and then someone runs a program that, like, reverse... Like, deconstructs everything one block at a time? And then that's... And then they play it in reverse and then that's how they get the time-lapse to look like it's going forward. I thought that's how that was done. I'm not sure where I read that. Yeah, that's got a pretty unique shape to it, doesn't it? I might try to slim these down a little bit. We'll see. All right, so let's put, um, I guess let's just start knocking down the rest because if we're committing to this, we might as well go whole hog. I just want to make sure also... I feel like that's an okay sacrifice. I feel like if the door is going to be here... And that's still... It's not the middle of the town square, but it's still pretty central. Lucky boss. Hello, welcome in. Yep, I think that'll do. So what's the footprint of this going to be then? It's going to be... This isn't going to be here. So this is going to stay like that. And then this is going to go all the way to here. Right, we may want to keep that back. Flying Sheep, subscribe to Tier 1 for five months. Thanks so much, Flying Sheep. Really appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying your time here. Oh, I need to go get some cobblestone. So we'd have a corner. Yeah, we were doing these on the corners. So then this technically would be that. That leaves a weird opening over here. So we maybe end up doing something like this just to try and create a little bit more space. I need more furnaces too. Uh, L-Dog, stream is going well. We just started. So you're just in the right, the right amount of time. I feel like I had more furnaces somewhere. Guess not. So 
that could be one side of it. If we wanted to extend a little bit. Uh, oops. And then this is going to go... And then I imagine all of this is going to go. I'm going to leave these frames in for now. Whoa, nope, not what I wanted to do. The dangers of using an axe and right clicking on stuff. Oh, it's a thunderstorm. Did anybody hear any thunder? Normally it like shakes your brain. It's so loud. So potentially a new door, which means furnace there. Still have an issue with that. No, we can change this now. So that's good. I feel like that opens this up quite a bit. So now we have to go to the second floor. They should add a way that you can toggle if you want to strip or not. Mm, no, I I mean I think I think the way that it is now is fine. I don't think there's anything terribly wrong with it. It's um just something you have to remember. The kind of thing that I wish they would add like that would be a way to um, rotate uh, glazed terracotta. I don't find that game mechanic very intuitive. I find that really tricky. Get rid of this stuff. Uh, and this whole roof, I think, can just come down, right? So satisfying, even though it wasn't terribly ugly. It just, it's always nice to clear out stuff like that in this game for whatever reason. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. And then the new roof. I feel like we'd want to add like a little bit of height to it. Similar to how like I've gone for blocks where there's stairs here. I feel like I should go look at some of the other roofs that I did over here that have a similar design. Yeah, so I went above the stairs in a lot of places. Same thing over there. We went up by a full block over there. Uh, I don't remember what I did on the inn. Oh, the inn's got an inside, inside ledge. Oh, and that one we went higher. Well, I guess bare minimum. And that's a floor, I think. Yeah, that's a floor choice. So I'm going to go to there. Technically, this would then go around the corner. Or it would go up.
Hold on now. Yeah, I think we might need something here to offset how crazy big the rest of this is. So if we came out all the way to here, Uh, that's an odd number, or rather it's an even number, it's just odd in Minecraft. Odd to build with. How did the wharf turn out? Wharf came out great. All the VODs for the wharf should be on the YouTube VODs channel. You can check that out at your leisure. Oh, that doesn't work. We have to do that trick. Trap doors and then stairs. Is that going to be high enough, you think? Nope. Let's go with double trap doors. And I guess double again. How did I do it over there? I guess I did put like a spin on it. So then this would end up being a block there. And then Very chunky. No. Oh. That's gonna happen a lot. I should just put <laughs> I should just put some scaffolding in, in here. Cause I'm just gonna fall in here a lot. I can tell you that already. Uh can't stay, says Blank Benji, but I wanted to say hi. Well thanks very much, Blank Benji. Folks, if you want to share the stream, feel free to retweet it or leave a lurk like Blank Veggie. Yeah, we're right behind the wharf. Uh, wharf is down here, and we're working on this building here. So there's the wharf with the crane and everything. And then, then this, we're just kind of like continuing on in this direction. I'm kind of gradually moving from like industrial to like a little bit more purposeful, but like unique in a way. I think that still looks okay. We might want to put a stair on top of that, but it doesn't look coming around this way. Basically, I'm trying to break up. Yeah, I'm trying to break up this giant swath of of uh, deep slate. I think successfully. So we would have more deep slate in here. And then I guess we would just put like a slab here. I guess we don't have to go with deep slate just because it's uh it's a full block roof, right? Like it's only at the top that we're gonna have to worry about stairs. 
And even then, we could go a smidge higher too. Oh, I did that very wrong. Oh, wait a minute, that was my scaffolding. Never mind. I think we're still going to go with the mushroom block on the inside, too. Of course, I'm a short one. Wait, wasn't there one on the floor? Yeah, right here. Thanks, Blank Benji. Here's a quick, uh, getting dark, but like, there's where we are with the, uh, the wharf. So what we're working on now is this building right here on the right. Do, 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 do. And then we would probably have some sort of like decorative thing going across there. Just not sure about that. Again, it feels really, really steep. We might be better off to go with stairs. Uh, alongside the stairs to avoid too much of a harsh angle here. Just rely on the color change. Because then these could just be straight up blocks. Which is good because it gives us a lot of options to put stuff on top of them. I'm not sure why I keep on thinking that this is a an angle I want to see this from, but yeah, we'll have to come up with something because it's going to be an awful lot of just blank deep slate for the roof. We'll have to come up with something unique. I guess I could also put a chimney on that side instead of that dormer. That could work. Or we could layer the roof. I do like seeing a little bit of deep slate on the side though. I think that's pretty cool. And oh, that's interesting. How Maybe we don't do these guys. Yeah, that is an ugly, <laughs> an ugly end, isn't it? I might have to push this out just a little bit farther just to get that uh, an odd number going across there. See, told you it was going to happen a lot. <laughs> told you. Yeah, that doesn't break the path. Plus, we could, we could also knock this out by a block, and that would mean that this would feel less claustrophobic going through there. Yeah, I think that's probably the best, best course of action here. We'll do another furnace. And that will change this quite a bit. I don't mind the verticality of it. Maybe we'll try to keep that.
One of the nice things about this is that we've got obviously the inside stairs that we can use to get up and down. Uh, that's going to need a trapdoor and then stairs. And now we can do trapdoor thing. like that and then that means that this comes a little bit less chunky and we can use stairs there Oh, this is a completely different roof. We'll have to be careful I don't get mixed up here. Uh, right, this is wrong. So I'll leave cobble here for now, but this is gonna be something different, I think. Uh, and then this is... goes to there. It's going to be a little bit noisy until we add the final texture to it. Oh, that has to be... That still has to be deep slate, though. Uh, L-Dog, um, thanks very much. Sweet Sandy says you should be taking notes. Thank you. I'm glad that you're... I'm glad that folks, like, learn different ideas hanging out in the stream. Appreciate that. Let's just leave maybe a window. Is that visible? Yes. Or probably just better to have it be solid. So I don't know if I'm ready to get rid of this just yet. I guess I sort of have to think about what's going to happen there. Yeah, I guess we do. I guess we just do the reverse of what we have on the other side and see how she goes. I say this a lot, but I learned how to Minecraft from Joel Duggan. Well, thanks very much. And I and I will say, you know, in turn, I learned how to play Minecraft by watching Paul Soros Jr. and Pixel Riffs and uh, uh, Mumbo Jumbo and some of the hermits that I really like. So it's it's a it's something that kind of goes around, right? Like the knowledge gets passed. And what I find so interesting about Minecraft as a game is that the knowledge gets passed through entertainment. Like, I'm not necessarily... I mean, like, sure, there's people that do... There's a lot of people that do tutorial videos and all the power to them. But I feel like I get more out of watching people problem solve in their Let's Plays rather than just saying, like, this is how I build a, I don't know, villager breeder or storage system or something. Nothing wrong with that, and I mean, it would be, it's important to have those, and I do love them and use them, but as far as, like, watching someone that plays Minecraft and has played Minecraft for a very long time run into an unplanned problem in one of their builds, like, I guess it's kind of what I'm doing now, right? Like, this whole thing was always planned to be two cylinders next to each other with a little connection in the middle. 
This was never part of the plan, but I like it way better. And it took me four days <laughs> to come up with the idea, right? Uh, I need more deep slate. Should be okay on those. I'm going to grab more spruce, though. A tutorial tells you how you can do something. You don't learn why that works. Uh, Tin Mirin 404. I would argue that on a good tutorial, you'll learn both. I much prefer the tutorials that explain the mechanics and why it's designed the way that it's designed. Unless you're talking about a tutorial that's like a creative tutorial, like someone that's showing you how to build a castle, right? That's different. When I think tutorial, I usually think like redstone stuff. And any of the good redstone videos out there are also going to explain to you like, okay, I'm making this platform this many blocks away from here and it's this many blocks wide. And like, this is why I'm doing it this way, whether it's for efficiency or for ease or for whatever. Right. But the good, I think the good tutorials will explain both to you, but yes, you're not going to get the same sort of results from a, um, that's what I'm looking for. Um, See, I want to say the word creative, but that means that sounds wrong because you're we're talking about Minecraft and there's a creative mode. I'm talking about like I guess a building a building tutorial. Because it's basically like a lot of building tutorials seem to be presented like this is how you build a castle. When it should be like, this is one way how I build a castle. <laughs> you can build a castle however you want. <laughs> right? And sometimes creators convey that, but sometimes they don't. So as cool as this is, we're going to have to tear it down. I don't think I can scrap or salvage any of it. How and why also lets the viewer think about alternative methods and creatively someone can take. Yeah, exactly. Like when I'm watching a redstone tutorial and it's going to create 40,000 per hour of like anything, like insert resource here. I don't need 40,000. The server doesn't need 40,000. So I immediately start taking the concepts from that tutorial and trying to break them down into like, okay, can I slice this off? Can I, can I make this, can I, can I make this, um, smaller, you know, more bite size for me and my needs. And if I can, like, how do I do it? Uh, anyone who has seen me play, especially Java, knows that I'm still pretending. I'm just pretending not to pretend anymore. Well, well said. Everybody gets imposter syndrome now, now and again. I know I do. How and why uh, we talked about that. Uh, I've watched tutorials and farms. Only some tutorials explain the backgrounds and variants. Yeah, for sure. Um, survival guide is exactly what I was thinking, Joel. It just keeps getting... Joel just keeps saying good tutorial... Just see, keep saying good tutorial? Why? Do I say it funny? Is there a Canadian accent joke coming somewhere? This is going to go out to here. And I'm kind of wondering if we can kind of keep this odd slope and not have to Right, so from here, on the inside, we can change it. I think I only have bone block for now. Uh, that's supposed to be... The Mikey Parker. Sorry, it took me a minute to sort out your name. Thanks very much for the raid. Welcome in, folks. Let me back up so you can see what we're working on. Hope you had a great stream. Really appreciate you sending your viewers over this way. I'm not sure if you've seen the thumbnail on Twitter, but we've made some pretty big changes so far. 
Splash, Splash Brother Blee B. Wow. Talk about L's and P's in the wrong places. Thanks so much. Hello. Hope you're having a good day. Hey, you know what? I'll take the five, Mikey. I'll take the five. I'm I'm happy to um happy to have them. Here's the thing. I'd rather have a raid of five to ten quality viewers than a raid of a thousand people that are just gonna like come in, spam, and disappear, right? So for everybody coming in with with the Mikey Parker, my name is Joel Duggan, if you don't know. Uh, I do the Spawn Chunks podcast with Pixar Riffs, co-host and produce. I stream three days a week, if not more, here on Twitch from the Citadel. And right now we're in West Hill, which is this great big medieval town. I keep on calling it a town and a city interchangeably. It's big enough, I guess, to be a city, but I'm calling it a town uh, because that's how I started. Uh, It's a town that got out of control. Uh, And uh, we are looking at the, we'll call it the... The, the town magistrate. So we've got a, a wharf that we built over the last few weeks. And I'm thinking that this building is going to be used to keep record of everything that's coming in and going out through through the wharf. Uh, and this was symmetrical. So we had another one of these towers built like right here. And we have removed it and replaced it with this very peaky build. And it has like a secondary gable on the side here. So we are in process of sorting this out and also running out of uh, mushroom blocks. The town looks great. Thanks, the uh, the A1. Or the Al one, I guess I should say. And I'm thinking that we probably don't want this here. Instead, I'm wondering if we have to go back a block. And change colors. see how that looks from up front halo guitarist gifting a tier one sub to the al one thanks so much halo really appreciate that the l1 you now have a sub which means that you can connect your discord and your twitch and join us in the joel duggan discord just look for the joel duggan discord in your connections tab on twitch no worry, sorry your connections tab on discord my bad uh, Sweet Sandy, I believe you gave me the one hour warning, which I very much appreciate it. So we're going to take a break here in just a second. I just kind of wanted to see. Yeah, we definitely need some sort of indent there. Um, that or. Yeah, I'm not sure how this. I'm not sure how this um, tower thing is going to be connecting. We may just have to go with. With deep slate in there, I'm not sure. We definitely needed to have an indent, though. I think it'll look better once we get some texture and stuff on it as well. And I guess these build blocks here would technically be... beams, right? That, or maybe they just don't connect at all. That makes a little bit more sense, but unfortunately messes with the floor like it's here yeah so this just becomes uh nope change that change that back hmm Tricky. Also messes with my stairs. Yeah, there's going to be some some major changes inside too, I think.
Uh, Mikey, it's probably your internet connection. Try refreshing. Also try watching on twitch.tv slash Joel Duggan instead of on the raid page. Uh, the um, Tin Mirren. Uh, me and my wife started building a castle a few days ago. She wanted to do a Nishwasting. Don't know how to pronounce that. Something medieval. Unique result. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My builds are very bland, but learning how to do detail. Very cool. Well, I, I do a fair amount of detail. Uh, this is like kind of like the second phase of this build. The first phase, we had all the major shapes. And now we're kind of getting into block selection and honing things in. But I've got some other builds. Where's one that has a lot of detail? I guess the low town. Like a lot of these places have got some details with sub blocks. And some stuff is vanilla, but sometimes we're using data packs. But... I like doing um, details in like foliage and stuff. Like adding this kind of detail is always really fun. All the sculpted, you know, this kind of stuff. Plus like adding little things that convey motion. It was really cool. Um, anyway, one must obey the Sandy when uh, the hour mark has been dictated. Uh, I take a break once an hour for those that are, are unfamiliar. I just step away, refresh my coffee and sometimes grab a snack. You should too. Grab a friend and we'll be back in about five or six minutes.
wonder where that zombie is hiding. Oh, he's right there. Come back here. It's my door. Leave my doors alone. Tin Mirren subscribing with Prime. Thanks very much. Really appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Welcome on board. You've probably heard the spiel already, but if you haven't, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. And then join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. All right, so we were upstairs missing about. Yeah, that's going to be an issue there. I think we just need to continue this through. So then this would come down another three blocks here if we don't change it. But that would leave this entire section without a roof. Right, so we have the tower. The tower would stop there. But then the other part of the building, we'd lose basically the whole staircase would disappear. So we need to find a way to add something here to the staircase and I guess I also have to add in these blocks I think it's three one two three and then upside down stair so that way that way and then one of these. Okay, so if that's going to go there, then we have to attach some other some other roof part here. And I think what we do here is we do the same thing we did over in this corner, is that we wrap it around like 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 this and see what we can come up with uh nukio i hope i pronounced your name right glad you're still here i just finished studying i need a bit of a, of a relax well very cool happy to help you relax and uh, we're gonna be on for for a bit we only just started about an hour ago I generally go for between three and four hours. It depends on the day, but usually the minimum is three. I don't find I can get anything done in Minecraft uh, in less than three hours, usually. Okay, if we were gonna do another gable, it would make sense to have it on this spot here. So then we would come out to there. So this is really just going to house the uh, the stairwell. And if we go up a little bit higher, we could connect that nicely. Matter of fact, maybe we'll go up here like that. No, oh, scaffolding. Uh, seeing you and other streamers spending hours on details changed my perspective. I only watched videos with time lapses and felt inferior for taking 
hours myself. Tiny Mirren, that is a common thing. Uh, and I tell you, when I first experienced that, I was learning how to paint and fall off of scaffolding in Photoshop. Sigh. Uh, I was learning how to paint in Photoshop and uh, I was watching people. And I know, like, I, I know that it was sped up. The artist would tell me this has been sped up. And yet my brain would still feel like I should be painting faster when I would go and implement their their technique uh, and try to do it in my own work. And ultimately what ended up happening was I, I felt like I was slow. And it's it's just a weird thing where um, the time lapses kind of give you like a false sense of of timing, I guess, for the lack of a better word. So something's up here. Oh, we're missing that. Now, is that... I mean, this is the back, back corner, so I'm not... That's not the nicest looking, is it? Hmm. Right. Can you tell that I'm sick of scaffolding? To one and then it's upside down. So this is an upside down stair. This should be one, two, three, and a stair. And then one, two, and a stair. And then this was going to be, whoops, blocks, I think. Again, it's going to be mushroom block. We just don't have the mushroom block right at the minute. Uh, this can all get filled in. You just turn this sideways. Good. And this goes to be a stair. Thanks for the great stream, but it's getting late. No worries, uh, the Mike Parker. Thanks very much for the raid. Really appreciate you sharing your viewers. Um, thanks for hanging out. Hopefully we'll see you again soon. That all goes there. This goes away. I don't think we need this. I do like this little detail. I wonder if we can maybe squirrel this in to be something that's out front. There's a hole there that I'm gonna have to figure out, but for now, kinda of wanna see what we can do out here. Yeah, I think I like that better. In which case, we might want to lower it by a block because then we could put stuff on top of it. And that's 
all going the right direction. Somewhere I have mushrooms. There we go. L dog, thanks so much for hanging out. Have a fantastic evening. We'll see you later. Appreciate it. Uh, Nuccio. Okay. Yeah, I'm only familiar. I mean, I think Italian's a Latin based language, right? I'm familiar with French and a little bit of Spanish. So I can sometimes get those. I, I, I do not speak any Italian. Well, I only... Uh, English is the only language I speak, and I barely speak it. So... I do not claim to have any language skills. Can I, get a, can I squeeze a third one in here? Maybe. Yes. Master Zen, how's your day been, Joel? It's been great. I uh, can only listen for now. Uh, cool. Thanks for the lurk. Appreciate it. We are working on the, I guess we called it the administration building. The mag Magistrate and Registrar, I guess, for the port. And it's looking a lot different than it was on Wednesday. And I'm happy with it so far. I need to get Silk Touch on my axe if we're going to do more mushroom uh, harvesting. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Romantic languages are all Latin based. Well, I've got no idea whether I wouldn't, I would probably call Italian romantic, not in the same way that you would call Italian romantic. Like I understand that that's a classification, but When I think romantic languages, normally French would be the one that comes to mind, but that's pop culture, not not any kind of like linguistic analysis. Well, we're not going to have to harvest any mushroom blocks for a while. This is good because I do like using them sometimes in paths and riverbeds. So it'll be nice to have a few stacks. I don't know if I need this much. Uh, all of my tools are enchanted. I just don't have the um, enchantment glint turned down. They're all they're all enchanted. I just ha I think I probably died, and I very seldom do I need silk touch on an axe. But mushrooms is one case where you do want it. That compost wall, that's good. I mean, I've got more bones than I know what to do with, so I'm not really worried about that. But that's good to know. I forgot that they would compost. We're not going to be able to pick all this up. Nope. 
Mm, let's do this. All that for like 15 mushroom blocks, mushroom stem blocks. I need a better way to get those. We might just have to go to a mushroom forest and start chopping stuff down. I just want to complete the front of this so that we have a, a complete face on it. Uh, we're going to have to put a trap door up there, I guess, or a stair, probably a stair. Thanks for the lurk, McScrewgun. Appreciate that. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I think a stair probably would be better. And maybe a fence gate. You have a TNT setup. So if you use TNT, do you still get the stems? Because I would consider that. We don't do TNT duping on the server though. So there's that. Uh, what was I looking for? Fence gates and fence posts. Fence gates, fence posts. Don't need those. I certainly don't need this. Done with the puzzle. So I think maybe a fence gate at the top. Either open or shut, I'm not sure. Might be just a nice detail to have it open. Linus Lego plays Minecraft. Lego Li Linus Legos, sorry, with an S. Rating with a party of eleven. Thanks ever so much. Really appreciate you sharing your viewers. What are we up to in stream today? I feel like this is probably gonna be something like that. We could probably do fence gates all the way down. Thanks for the shout out for Linus, sweet Sandy. Folks just coming in, if you are not familiar, my name is Joel Duggan and I do a variety of things online. I co-host and produce the Spun Chunks with Pixel Riffs. And I stream here on Twitch. I do my own podcast, The Siddle Cafe. Sometimes I do Lego on Twitch, all kinds of stuff. And if you wouldn't mind, we're trying to grow the channel. Uh, so if you want to switch over and watch on twitch.tv slash Joel Duggan, I would very much appreciate it. I feel like I need to come up with better ways to do these. I know that I've seen cool things with them. I think wonder, one of the things we can do is add like another layer of trapdoors. Sometimes that looks good and sometimes it doesn't. Maybe we replace the middle trapdoor with a slab. I am completely freestyling this. I've got no no real plan. We could also do the same thing here. Uh, either without that. Hmm. I think I prefer 
the fence gate. And then we do maybe a slab going the other way. No, you know, I guess it was fine the way it was. So sometimes you can't tell until you try. It's details like this I have a hard time just like imagining unless I've done it before. I mean, that's a fun little detail. I'll take that. I'm debating whether some of that would look good if it was dark oak, but we may also be the right height for a window at that point, which would be nice. Almost. We could be if we decided to move this again. Kind of think a window might have to happen. Dalman Dam, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Storm Dance, good to see you as well. Oh, Tiny Mirren, we, we have a lot of rules like that on the Citadel where we're a bunch of busy adults, you know? We we don't have time to go searching for things that's going to take hours. A lot of times what ends up happening is like maybe we give it a try, and if it takes far too long, then we'll we'll switch over, you know? But we definitely looked at the seed before we even launched the world because we all just wanted to make sure we had the the different biomes within a decent distance right so that we didn't have to like run all over heck and high water looking for stuff and that's not obviously finished but like bear with me we may or may not add that window We've got this thing here. It's like a double overhang because I don't want to expand this too much. Got a funny feeling that this is just going to end up being filled in. Do I have any stone? No. I remember searching for a jungle for days. That was my experience. So I had like a, a different experience when I first started playing Minecraft in that I... um. I had a, like a large biome world in 1.12 and I was brand new to the game and I couldn't find anything. I was finding it very frustrating and ultimately what what ended up happening was like I just got used to the game once I was on the Citadel and when I went back to look at my, you know, my choices on my original world, I think it was called Eternia, um, it was, it was pretty, it was, I, I kind of gave up and felt like things were really far away on the original world only because I just didn't understand the world. And uh, I, I may eventually go back to it, but I've just come so far that it feels like a strange thing to, to rehash. And plus, like I just, I devote all of my time to the Citadel. I think as long as you and your server mates are on the same page. Yeah, exactly. You know, take a look at Hermitcraft. You know, when we had Exumavoid on the sponge chunks, over a year ago, I think, um, he was talking about how they have all the data packs and all that kind of stuff on on um, Hermitcraft. And it's just because they all agree, you know, that it makes their lives a lot easier. They're content creators. They have, most of them have families, you know, people have lives outside of the game. So it's important for them to be able to create what they want to create in a timely manner. And so having a few things, a few quality of life things that kind of like give Minecraft a little oomph I think is is fine. As you said, when people are all all in agreement.
I don't know why there would be a window back here. I'm going to leave one open just in case, but I doubt very much there would be a window staring at the wall. <laughs> uh, it could just be for air. I don't know. But this stairwell, unfortunately, I think has to move. Maybe we have to move it inside the tower. Maybe that's the function of this 3x3 three three here is going to be the stairs. Oh, right. I wanted this to be a window, didn't I? Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're gonna have to do something to to make that look nice. I'm not sure what that is yet. That's if we do a window there. chamber pot disposal that is both disgusting and probably accurate. Oh man, sounds like uh, you've got some really strange biomes happening, Mirren. So at this point, the only part that I'm really not happy with is this back, back section. And I think the solution is going to be to angle the roof the other way. So what we'll do, that will come down like that. And then we'll have a second, second layer. These will start here. Oh, no, wait, this is going to be spruce. don't know if this is going to work out the way that I want, but how did I do that on this side? All just covered by a roof. Hmm. Oops. That was a weird delay. Nope. That doesn't work. So I guess technically what I should have here is like a one of these. But then how do I get that on that side? And then in here, 
again, we're going to run into headroom issues. That's if we continue to do stuff there. So we could try Yeah, there's no way to block that off. I think we have to change. Oh, wow, that's really tight. Yikes. Okay. All kinds of problems. Because, of course, one side was designed with a different layout in mind. Uh, Connor, you just have to, you know, keep plugging when you have... When you have a good idea, you just have to kind of keep on rolling with it. I uh, yeah, I really don't like that either. What do we do here? How do we handle how do we handle this section? I mean, it looks like it makes sense. I mean, not that you're going to look at it from this angle that much, but like I I feel like it attaches in a way that makes sense. Maybe I just need it to be a block higher. It still doesn't fix this problem. Uh, hmm. tricky yeah my i i struggle with the same thing mirin i struggle with the same thing making my my builds big enough i absolutely have that issue so if we do that it doesn't really add any height to it does it Well, that's the thing, right? Is is iteration and practice is the only way to get better. So, like, if you've got, if you've got builds that you want to work on or things like that, like, if for example, like I've I very seldom do anything like you know modern city, and so how do I get better at building a modern city? I built a modern city or I started one, and we will eventually return to it. But um, it's a one way to get really good at understanding how to make buildings in minecraft i think the thing that i learned about the modern city was to make your your modern city builds be like have all your walls be like super thick like two blocks thick so that you could have an inside color for like an apartment and then an outside color for the building and i think that made a huge difference once i realized that that would be the way to go uh it made things massive like it increased everything by you know two square meters in either direction but Yeah, I don't dislike that. It just doesn't make any sense with the stairwell there, right? Because we'd have to get rid of those two blocks in favor of what will be mushroom, but for now, right? Because that's how you want that to look from the outside. And even then, I would say that those blocks here arguably could be Mushroom or bone as well. Yeah, this is also in the way. Maybe so the solution here is trapdoors. runs together with that too much which is annoying I guess we could put a slab there it's not where it's supposed to go it's supposed to go one block behind that but we could try it see if that looks terrible Yep. 
Feels out of place. There's a chance that an oak trapdoor will look okay. L dog, welcome back. So if I remove this and we create like a little mini window here, maybe, maybe sort of kind of. That kind of works. We might even go as far as making two of them. Uh, it gets a little repetitive with the the ones there. So maybe we'll stick to one. I like the idea of using mushroom blocks. Thanks. Yeah, we've used them before. Um, can you see them from here? If I get up high enough, you can probably see it. Yeah, right there, we use mushroom blocks. And I want to say this little build here. Yeah, right there. So I'm trying not to overuse things. I'm trying to like spread the different materials around as best we can. Yeah, I don't think they're going to give us the ability to paint different sides of the blocks, Nuccio. That's just... That's not what Minecraft is. I like the idea of painting a whole block. Like, how would, I would love to be able to paint wood. Painted planks would be fantastic. Alright, if we do this, I think we have to touch this up a little bit. kind of echo that across. I'm not sure if I like it, but we'll leave it for now. And I think the last thing that's distracting me is some of these inside blocks. So as we go to start out, uh, sort out the staircase, I think we can start to remove some of this. Uh, I would say this is very likely just going to be stone. Possibility that this would be grass, I guess. Poa42, thanks for the follow. Um, Zabarian, did I say thanks for the follow? I probably missed you. Sorry about that. Appreciate it. Glad you're all having a good time. Uh, PyroTG, how goes the medievalness? Medieval E. And more successful than Wednesday, so I'm happy about that. We do we do have that going for us. Which is nice. Now I'm not sure about those. The the cobblestone. And what did we do over here? Right, we kept that wide. That's all fine. This is on a funny angle. And there's nothing we can do about that, I don't think. Yeah, it's just this one. So we have not fixed the roof back here. Because chances are what's going to happen here is going to be that. We should probably just remove this temporary diorite. And we'll put bone block in for now because it's a lot closer to the mushroom block.
Really not sure how to handle this part of the roof. Uh, found your stream listing after listening to the podcast. Oh, very cool. Which one? Was it the, the Sizzle Cafe or the Spawn Chunks? I'm guessing the Spawn Chunks if you're a Minecraft player. That's usually where people find me. So I guess we have to figure out how to do something here. We just, we can't just continue the roof. And if we continue the wall, it's going to block the stairs off. Right? Like that's fine. It's just that it completely cuts off our staircase. So one thing we could do is don't want to push this out. So we could have, I mean, this isn't going to be there. We certainly have a lot more room over that side. So maybe the staircase can go over here. We would sacrifice a window, but I don't know if we need a window there. I mean, it would help break up that wall. That's for sure. I don't think I want something to walk around out here. Yeah, that feels a little bit too, too far out there. Uh, yeah, the sponge chunks, cool. Well, thanks. Thanks for listening and, and welcome in. Yeah, it would be nice. We might have to sacrifice these windows. I'm okay with this not being so symmetrical too. Like I'm okay with closing this in on the front. Uh, I just, I do like that window there. And we might be able to get up stairs and behind. I mean, this would put the stairs like right, right at the window. Don't like that. So I guess the most logical course is going to be to go up in a spiral and I guess I'd want to come out here. So we'd go from here to a landing stair. No, then we lose that window too. I also listen to the podcast by Foxy No Tail. Oh, well, yeah, if you're a Bedrock player, it makes sense to listen to a Bedrock-focused podcast for sure. And thank you so much. That's really nice. I'm glad that you like the uh, the discussion and analysis that we have on the show. We put a lot of effort into it. I hope it shows. Uh, why did I make this place so small? Anybody? Anybody want to tell me why? Well, oh, that nicely that nicely goes underneath there. I've also didn't mean to line these doors up. I don't know if that's what I want. Maybe the thing to do is to reverse this, right? If I if I take this 
it goes one, two, platform, and then it turns and goes the other way. So if I took this here, one, two, platform, and then it turns and goes the other way, but that turns and goes the way in between the beams. I mean, we could move the beams, although they make they make the most sense where they are now. So I could move it over by one. Oops. Then we'd go here. Well, we cut the beam here anyway. We can remove these. Whoops. Then the stairs come up here. in there maybe success I would say because you made it so small <laughs> hi I'm new to the stream dragonfly 8900 thanks very much for coming by we're gonna go find that zombie before we do anything Cosmic calls your two hour reach uh, break time. Thank you. That's hilarious. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her. I wouldn't put it past her. All right, I think I know where the zombies are coming from. We do have this giant underground area over here. There they are. That's a lot of them too. Oh, almost got him. Stay still. Any more? I see you, barely. That should be all the ones that were making noise anyway. Only problem is that she doesn't have your phone number. She's just in your brain. Is that how? It, is that what happened? Cosmic just tele telepathically just said, like, it's break time. Tell Joel it's break time. I could see that happening. <laughs> so it feels a little bit funny because of where it is. But I think I'll allow it. Because what that does do, it lets us finish this, right? It means that we can come in here and uh, put that there. And then put the other two blocks. Oop, except for this is not a door anymore. And I guess the door goes here. Good guess, Joel. Excellent, excellent guess. It 
It's that or we make the door out sideways. Like we put the door here, which could work as well. And we have, I guess, precedent for this happening. We could do this over here. That would actually leave quite a lot in that back corner. Because if I come over here, I know, I know, I know, I know I get a break. If I do this, and then this becomes the door. The back door that way. I think that's more interesting. I don't know what to do about this. This feels very strange. Maybe we have to kind of like sturdy that up. Yeah, I feel like that could that could potentially work. We'll have to figure out more on the outside, but it is time for that break, as uh, Sweet Sandy pointed out. So if you're new to the channel, I take a break once an hour, just five or six minutes. Gives myself a chance to uh, refresh my water. You should too. Grab a friend. We'll be back in just a bit.
All right. So this is where I started to switch over and started to think about the inside layout of the build and how that's going to affect uh, how we design the rest of the outside. And unfortunately, if this is going to be like a records keeper, I don't really have a space where it can hold all the records. Maybe we have to remove this window in favor of this one. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. Because then this could be like where all the bookshelves and stuff are, which would allow us to hide some of the furnace faces that we can't, we can't get rid of. Although that one could potentially just go the wrong way. The other way. I think that was the right one. Yeah, but then that one we'd have to hide. Yeah. I mean, we could also face that outward and put a bush there, and that might work. But I think to back up and kind of take this all in, I think that's a better a better looking building than what we had before. And like I said, I like how it breaks the line of the keep. I feel like it's it's more in your face too. Like it, it feels like you should, when you're coming up this way, I don't want people being distracted by up here first. You kind of want them to look at this first. And I think it, it does that because of the color contrast. I also might change the shape of the roof. I might push the roof roof out a little bit at the peaks. Uh, we've done that here where it has these little upturned things. I feel like this could benefit from having a little a little outward kind of thing going on. And then we might be able to run like a fence gate or something along it. We've done that on I think the south gate. Yeah. The south gate has got this little decorative thing on the top. I think it's the only place that we've used it so far. Thank you, Elkhorn. Appreciate that. So now I'm just not sure about the cobblestone on the front. I, I like the cobblestone on this building. I'm wondering if we should switch this out to something else now. I remember our trouble was that we couldn't find something that we liked that went that went well with um, the acacia. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we have to entertain the idea of replacing the acacia. Well, it gets too, too samey with the roof. Yeah, this feels very strange here. What we could do here is um, just make it like a closet. Uh Nope. So we could put a door on that just to kind of make it look like a storage space. Uh chances are we would like to have Railings. Question is, you're going to bang your head on that? Nope. They were good. I 
we might be able to put some more bookshelves in the corners here. Not sure why or how we would want to do that, but potential. This is just the old footprint of the tower. Cover that up. Let's just put this back here for now. Hey, Rabelais. Hope you're having a good day. Ah, I see what's throwing me off here. I see what's going on. So this is the part where like me just kind of throwing up different ideas and blocks is starting to come back and bite me in the butt because I need to, uh, whoops, I need to make sure that these are all going the right way. Let me go this way. Yeah, so that looks symmetrical now with the rest of the build. And then don't know what else is up there. Whoops. Uh, I don't know what we do with that. Maybe we just turn it sideways. It shows up in here, unfortunately. We can cover most of it. So we could do solid blocks along here. And then just hide this with a trapdoor. Seems like a lot of trapdoors just to add to cover up one deep slate block, but it's the kind of thing that would bug me. Uh, will you do a stream uh, where you go exploring when the wild update drops? Nope. No, I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. Uh, I mean, eventually we might want to go look for a mangrove swamp if we want mangrove wood, but um, it's not going to be a priority. I'm just going to keep on keep on building. I've got lots of stuff to do here. Lots of stuff to do here. Oh, I guess that was meant to be grass on purpose. One of these things is not like the other. So I feel like some of these could use some acacia on the backside. So maybe what we do on these ones that and then that would change and maybe this would not be acacia here
And then we just have to mirror these inside. Oops, that's the wrong thing. And it's dark. Thanks, Cormac. Appreciate the lurk. All right. So I like this little bit, but I don't like the way that the stair connects. So I think I'm going to go back to, I think this was a slab. I wonder if we can get away with just a slab here. Yeah, I'd say we can. Uh, don't know what's happening there. That's right. It's really hard. We're very close. Uh, something. Oh, I see what's up. Okay. Uh, I think we get rid of this. A little on the chunky side, but I think it works. Yeah, because if we didn't, that would be visible deep slate. And the only way to hide that would be with slab. So I'm okay with that. This feels strange, a little bit overkill, but it's fine. Let's put this back. Feeling pretty good about all of this. That's an odd connection but necessary on the outside, so... I think what we'll do is do the same thing we did over here, which was to put a full block here. Oops. And then drop these with trapdoors. Now this could change later because we end up we might end up putting bookshelves in there and that would then we'd take them right up to the ceiling and that would cover it all up anyway. Yeah, I feel like I feel like this whole thing is probably going to be bookshelf. And then maybe like table with a light on it or something. And then I guess I guess we could have like a desk or a table somewhere over here. Probably a table there and then more bookshelves. We may end up sacrificing this window yet. And then up here we could have like, you know, the bed and a bunch of other things, probably more bookshelves. That sort of thing. And what goes there? That goes like that. 
I guess we could then just bring this all the way around. See, and this is where I might end up coming back in and hiding this with a bookshelf. Although it would be very hard to access. Um, for now, we'll do this. Yeah, now I just need lots of mushroom blocks. I, I should probably go back to the meadows and see if I have any mushroom blocks. I don't know if I do. I've got some of these are out of place as well. Welcome back, Tin Mirren. Get a feeling of a wizard, tables and stuff everywhere. I think maybe not a wizard, but maybe like a, a frantic, you know, a disorganized person that is supposed to organize the town. I feel like that could be kind of funny. All right, the last thing on the outside is just this back door. And I think the easiest way to do this is just gonna be to go look at the front door, which we changed dramatically. Originally I had like a little thing over it like that. And we can't do anything in that space. Not my favorite look. Oh, was maybe he's a wizard? He's a disguised, disorganized wizard. So I think here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this roof the other direction, just kind of going straight from here, and we'll go. Up like that and up like that. None of that's visible anyway. And then this will just be change this direction. Why is that messed around? Oh, because that stair there. Uh, that's easy to hide and hmm not a huge fan Mainly it's this that I find problematic. sort of works but it's a lot of trapdoors these are the little like unplanned 
No idea. Uh, is Megan's wizard tower still standing? No. No, I talked to Megan and uh, I tore it down. And she was fine with it. Basically, it was in a state of like early construction for over a year on the calendar. And I just said, hey, um, I've been playing in this area consistently for a year. So I'd like to commandeer the space. And she was fine with it. Uh, Alistair and I offered to um, help her rebuild it in another location if she ever comes back to the server. But right now she's not even streaming or playing. So um, it was the easiest decision, I think, or the, be the best decision at the time. I guess if I go with that, I think I have to forego those. Or wait a minute, what am I doing? What if I went out farther? What if instead I did this? The normal thing that we do. Can we see that from inside, I wonder? Don't, don't think so. I bet the wizard moved to town and made a mess. Nice. That's a good way to look at it. It's that or... I think that works pretty well. It's a lot of trap doors, but whatever gets the job done. This will more than likely end up being a stair of some sort uh, or an andesite block. Yeah. I'm, I mean, it's, it needs a detail pass, but I'm pretty happy with that. How does it look from up a little bit higher here? Not that this view really matters. I can't see anything anyway. Uh, do we still need this? We don't need this at all. Oh, just that. Uh, how do we... That's an inside block. Well, we do this. And then... On the inside, Whoa. oh, I don't know what, I'm not sure what's what in there. Uh, oh, that's actually kind of interesting. A little archway, like a half archway. Yeah, okay. 
So now I think uh, it's going to be time to move on to some of the innards, or we can kind of move around the outside and see what we can do with like outside details and stuff. I'm curious as to what we can do on the top of it. I'm not entirely sure if this outside part is done. What do we've got there? This is on that block. Some of this stuff away. Dirt, grass, I don't need right now. Nor do I need the diorite. So one thing we can mess around with is signs. That's a no. Might work on the lower section. Oh no, we can't do them in the corners, right. Uh, what about one there? Maybe I just need another fence gate. Oh no, that doesn't work at all. I thought that's what I needed. I forgot that they were stairs. I need something to break up this large, large portion at the top. We do that I feel like we have to change the window somehow someone was saying in our in our discord I'm not sure if it was Sandy that the free game on Epic Games right now is Borderlands 3 I've played it I like it if you're into shooters and you have the sense of humor that Borderlands 3 might appeal, then I would go pick that up. That is a heck of a deal for free. That does really stand out, doesn't it? I mean, part of it is I need to fix my texture on these, but for now... I think I'm happy with that so far. I 
I do love me some Claptrap. I find Claptrap very amusing as well, Rabelais. I really enjoy him. Yeah, so you can see where I might want to add a little oomph to these. And how do I do it on these big ones up top? They're double stairs. Those are double stairs. I could have sworn I did this in more subtle ways. Stairs. Nothing out here is going to be that decorative. Huh. Could have sworn I had a spruce roof that was fancier, but maybe not. So if we were to do this, we would go out. That's a stair. We'd go stair. And then a stair this way. No, that's not quite what I want. I think scaffolding is going to be the answer here. Let's start over here. The Bizarro Road Warrior style villains make me laugh too. Oh yeah, no, the, the villains and the stuff that they say to you when they're running at you like with a sharp rusty nasty looking object uh is definitely definitely bizarre all right let's how's that for fancy flying So I think what I want to try and do is turn these this direction. Nope. That way. So I can then do that. And then No, I'll get that backwards. I think that's what I want. Oh, if we do that, we're going to bump into the, into the, uh, the keep. Well, I guess I could, I, it could, it doesn't have to be symmetrical. But if we do that, I think we have to do that lower. Because if it's going to be asymmetrical, it has to be like very asymmetrical. Didn't I do this? On a building over this way somewhere. No, I tried. And it didn't work. Right. The problem is having a build this long in, in terms of how long I've been working on it. You remember things. It's like, didn't I do that? I should go look at that for reference. And then you realize, wait a minute. That was one of the iterations that didn't work. It didn't, it didn't stay. Right? Like, it's, it's not one of those things that, that stuck around. Oh, 
Okay. That goes there. That goes there. We might end up changing this. Couple blocks here. Oh no, because then they're going to see in there. Okay. Never mind. Now, hopefully I'm not hiding all my detail. A little bit. Probably switch this to a log. Go back to the st oh, no. The only problem I have with all of this is that that tends to look too tall, like too pointy and skinny. Yep. I think we might have to lose one of the um, fence gates for this to look like it works. And I'm not sure if I like the um, the trapdoor on the face of this. Yep, I'm okay with that. It's only the second or third time we've had rain this stream. That's not bad. By one <laughs> by one eighteen standards anyway. So helpful. Do we think this looks too chunky? Do we think it needs to have like some texture changes? Like could some of these be stripped, stripped logs? know about that and we could always try a barrel too I don't mind that
I just don't know if it goes all the way to the top or whether we have like just a little bit. Maybe we do two barrels. That looks like it works a little bit better. What do you think? Too busy? We could sneak another barrel to the top. Never thought, I guess we could have them have them look like they're facing a different direction. Oh, come on. I don't know why it's so difficult to jump off of scaffolding and fly. It's just not a skill I seem to have. So many trapdoors. The trapdoors help with this not being so um, so steep. So I think I'm going to put the trapdoors in regardless of what we put. Um, put along it like that. I think that looks really good. Right there. a lot on going on everywhere it kind of fits in yeah i'm trying to do more like i really like the way that mythical sausage builds and i'm trying not to copy him but i'm trying to like take a lot of inspiration from his stuff and and i would say some of his stuff would be considered quite busy but he does a really good job of balancing that busy with readable i guess would be a good way to to describe it I like the color um, contrast the um, the barrels give. I knew there was a scaffolding up here. Um, I like the strapping on the barrels. It really helps um, keep this from looking like a big blob of vanilla spruce blocks, you know? Thank you, Sandy. Yes. Uh, we are going to try to find somebody to raid in a few minutes. Wouldn't mind passing you on to somebody doing some cool stuff in Minecraft. Looks like Impulse SV is live. We haven't raided Impulse in a while. Need more barrels. I like them. Am I... How can I not... Thank you. Weird. Cybe, thanks so much for 100 bits saying time flies. Well, hopefully you were having fun along with the time flying. But yeah, I agree. I don't feel like this was a... Certainly wasn't a, what I would call a, a tedious stream at all. I'm curious as to whether these or barrels will work up here. So while we're up here, we might as well give it a go. The only tricky part, of course, is that we have to cover up the inside of this. Or the outside of it, rather. So that part I don't like.
I think we can maybe get away with shifting to the um, stripped logs up here. Because I don't want to have to do this. The only other option would be to run the barrel the other way. And then cover it up on the inside somehow, but we'd have to cover up both. Which is not going to be easy. Uh, yeah, that's enough of a texture change up there that it doesn't feel too distracting. I feel like there's levels of interest as you go up. It's actually pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. So the only thing that's a little bit wonky is the um, the window. Um, I almost mentioned some mythical sausage during the time-lapse conversation earlier. It looks great, but it's uh, too much for me to take in. I find sometimes um, that's true, but not always. Um, but that's the, it's the kind of it's the same idea as your um, your redstone tutorials, right? Like as you watch a redstone tutorial and you're thinking, I I'm going to change this to suit me. I do the same thing when I look at mythical sausage because like he's got his own style. And it's awesome, but it may not be my style. So I try to like learn. I, I try to think about like the connections and the tricks that he does in terms of the spacing. Like for example, this putting trap doors and slabs underneath slabs on a rim of a roof. To me, I would have originally thought that that would make the roof look too thick, but with the right angle, it looks fine. It's just, it's, it's very thick. This is, this is a block and a half and like a block and a quarter. No, three quarters of a block. So like, I would have never wanted that before. I've I've always gone with like rims like just slab wide, right? But he makes it work. And when you can kind of figure out how he does it and then apply it to your own build successfully, I think that that works out well. I want to change this to something, but I don't know what just yet. I don't know what just yet. Maybe we have to put a door inside. Like right now I was resisting the urge We've got, um, like maybe there has to be an actual door here and this has going to be filled in. So like this is a separate, you know, which would make sense if it was meant to be a bedroom, you know, you'd have two levels of the record keeping library, you know, top floor and bottom floor. And then you'd have a private chamber for having your morning coffee and surveying the dock. Actually, this, I didn't realize how good of a view you have from up here. That's pretty cool. Happy accidents. Gotta love them. The thing that I really like about Mythical Sausage, if you look at like his fields and his overall um, level of, of detail, what's so cool about uh, Mythical's builds is that when you back up, they don't feel too noisy. You know, his his color and his his balance are really, really good. Does anybody else notice how weird and different Deep Slate looks when you've got it in corners like that? Like, that looks like two different blocks to me. Thank you, Elkhorn. Appreciate it. Uh, we are actually going to wrap up and raid Impulse SV. Because uh, I think I'm going to be a, a good human and go work out today. As one probably should. We're probably going to change that to a stair. I wouldn't mind experimenting with dipping this roof a little bit because there's nothing up there. So we might we might make this look like it has a little bit more of a dip, a little bit more character. Uh, I want to make this a little bit peakier so that we can run some some uh, some spruce maybe that way. I'm not sure if we'll keep that window, but we made some decent progress. This is a big build, and so I'm surprised that uh, we've gotten this far in just two streams. I guess it was already kind of framed in. We didn't start from absolute scratch, but after a frustrating time last time, I'm much happier with it now. Uh, and and you'll you see what I mean by by peaking this a little bit it when you're coming in this road like it kind of positions itself right between the towers draws your attention makes you think like what is that I want to go see what that is you know 
Very, very cool. Uh, folks, if you've had a good time today, then uh, leave a follow before you take off uh, or stick around and, and rate Impulse because um, he's a fantastic content creator. Good guy. We've actually had Impulse on the Spun Chunks podcast. If you do a search on the spunchunks.com, you can find that episode. I want to say it was like episode 70 something. Um, anyway, I'll be back tomorrow, one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus three. Follow me on Twitter at Joel Duggan for when I go live. You can, of course, listen to the Citadel Cafe, brand new episode out yesterday, and the Spun Chunks, brand new episode out on Monday. Uh, and uh, we talked about the latest snapshot, and we talked about Star Trek on the Citadel Cafe, which is really fun with Alistair, who's a member of the server with me, actually. Is he online? No, he's not online. Uh, anyway, that's it for me, folks. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for all the support and the bits. Uh, check out Patreon if you want to join the patron server. And as the helicopter soars over my apartment, <laughs> I will bid you a good Friday and uh, be kind and enjoy Impulse. We'll talk to you later. Bye for now.